So we're going to go down here to the traffic circle and exit to our left. Oh, shh. Last fall, we rented a camper van in Italy. We're Rich and Robin. We're exploring Italy from Florence to the heel of the boot. Follow along on our adventures in and out of our midlife van. Our first night was spent camped behind a hotel on a farm outside of Rome. After our first night in our rental van, we headed to shop for a few items to make our trip a little more comfortable. So while we were headed to the outlet mall, we found an outdoor market. So let's go check it out. 19, 20 1. At the first stall, I immediately found a floor mat, which is going to come in handy for stepping into the van from grass or dirt. I found a couple inexpensive pillows to make sleeping more comfortable and a few more hand towels, which will also make great souvenirs to take home. Okay. Got a little shopping done. All our home goods are now bought from the little market. We found some great little inexpensive items from this hardware section. Though we didn't find a fan in case it got hot later, the gentleman selling items explained where we could go to pick up a small fan for the van. Fine. Okay. 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 So my buddy that was making fun of me earlier, I think, uh -huh. was trying to tell us to what store to go get a fan from. And what was he saying, Rich? I think he said it's his dad's store. His padre store. His padre store. And then he's trying to give us directions how to get there. Trying to give us directions. Yeah. So he's like, just like we understand Italian. We already told him we don't understand. Yeah. And he's like trying to describe, yeah, it's only like one kilometer down. And then I think traffic circle, and then you, know, you go to the right. No, 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 you don't want to go to the right. You want to go to the left where it's flat. <laughs> and he said, drive. Yeah, drive. A little crazy driving by the outdoor market. Yes. Just a little crazy driving, but we made it. We did. Around the traffic circle and back up the hill. Don't go up the hill, Rich. I know. That guy said, don't go up the hill, but we're doing it. Because we're getting the heck out of Dodge. You know, Google has told us to go the wrong way on a one-way street before. This wouldn't be the first time. So hopefully Google's not doing a stray. We're going to go right. And now the big street should be up here. Ooh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. So we're going to go down here to the traffic circle and exit to our left. Oh, shh. We're not at the traffic circle yet. We were stuck on this corner, but now we think we got it out. Hey, what do you want me to watch? Crank it hard? No. You want me to watch the front corner, passenger?
Okay, you want to try back up? You're okay here. What we thought was going to be an easy maneuver to the highway or an easy shortcut to the highway turned out to be two very steep switchbacks that took us 30 minutes to navigate. Phew, we're on a road. Along the Autostrada in Italy, there are auto grills, which are rest stops that have fuel stations, food, and convenience stores. On our last trip to Italy, we stopped at a couple and were amazed at some of the food that was available. We made our stop at an auto grill to see what they had for lunch. A sandwich, we got a sandwich in the van. I'm having a auto grill carbonara. <laughs> you wanna try? I don't think I've ever had yellow carbonara before. <laughs> It's okay. For some reason at the auto grill convenience stores, everything is extremely large. Rich, Rich, do you want a big old popcorn? Oh, a baby bowl. Dead end street. But we made it a dead end street for a few other cars. We did. That weren't too happy with us. At least we did make it permanent. Yes. So we've had a little bit of stuff fall down while we're driving. Not much. Mostly soft stuff. It's all good. It is a rattle trap, but that's not our stuff. That's just the vans. And we are getting closer to our destination. Minutes. To Sorrento. That was a long tunnel. And now I can see it across. Now we're on the other side of Mount Vesuvius. A hot mess today. So, yeah. You slept until no. almost nine. No, I did sleep a lot last night because I was freezing my butt <laughs> off. Somebody had the blanket. But where are we now? Sorrento. We are in Sorrento. Woohoo! Made it. 
And what are we driving? That big old hunk of van. Are you ready to go find our accommodations? Let's go. After four years, we were excited to be back in Sorrento. Instead of a view of Mount Vesuvius from our cliffside hotel, this time we had the same view from a cliffside campsite for a fraction of the cost. We made it to our campground. Woohoo! We pre-booked a view over the water. I hopefully that's what we got when we checked in. There goes the ferry over to Naples. This is the view from where we stayed last time. If you missed our last video, we did a tour of this indie camper's rental van. Check it out on the link below. Join us next time as we explore Sorrento and go to a wonderful cooking class with beautiful views.